I've got an energy pop quiz for you. Tell me what all of these things have in common. Low back pain, financial stress, lack of feeling creative and like you've got your mojo and vitality, menstrual problems, urinary tract infection, low back pain. Do you know what all of these things have in common? From an energetic standpoint, all of these symptoms are symptomatic of a blockage of flow in the sacral chakra, in Swadhisthana chakra. And this is the second chakra located in the sacral plexus. And it has everything to do with our creativity, our ability to connect to flow, literally the water element, and to be able to access that currency, which is also related to finances, to our money, to our vitality, and to all things reproductive. So creation, right? The ultimate form of creation uh, and our ability to create, to express what it is that is deep in our soul that, you know, in a woman, we would say in our womb space, that Shakti power, that potent energy that lies dormant until we give it the space, until we actually consciously allow it. You see in children, children are just creating uh, and being creative all day long. They're imagining, they're playing, they're dancing, they're singing. They're not inhibited in the way that we've been programmed to sort of become contracted or self-conscious as adults. And this is what I see is a major uh, blockage and disruptor for people with their health. So many health issues come in this area, particularly for women, and it might just be uh, like back pain or hip pain or menstrual disorders, things that we've been told are just normal, uh, but they're not. They're signs of imbalance, of disharmony and dysregulation. So this creative center of our body, this portal into our creativity must be nurtured and your divine expression needs to be expressed. You can't keep ignoring the way that you are here to create and the way that you're here to be. I don't believe that any of us are not singers, not dancers, not artists. We're all artists and we're all creators. And you maybe had an experience really early on where a teacher or a parent told you otherwise. Maybe it was your writing, maybe it was your speaking, maybe it was your singing. I know I had... <laughs> Um, a parent tell me early on when I was singing um, that it didn't sound very good. And this was very disheartening. And then I was compared to peers who were much better singers or dancers. And as a youngster, that really, it was deflating. I think at any age, right, that can be so deflating. And what I found in my life and in my business is that until that flow is expressed, there will be dis-ease because we are meant to move the energy of uh, created creation and creativity through us. So this is really why this focal healing point is the essence of my upcoming creative being immersion. This immersion is in person and it's for you if you're soul self-led and soul-led in your life or in your business. And we're going to really be exploring healing around this second chakra. And until that happens, there will be contraction and constraint until you feel like you can fully show up authentically, that you can move your body in the way that you want to move your body, that you can express through speech or through song, uh, through chanting, through sound, that you can sit down and write without feeling paralyzed or in a constant state stream of self-judgment. This is what we're doing inside of the creative being immersion. And tomorrow is the last day for the early bird investment. So jump on board if this is a yes for you. Reach out if you have any questions. And truly, uh, creativity has been something that I have been blessed to have grown up with and had a family and parents who encouraged my creativity. I was really lucky to have got into musical theater as a youngster and dancing and singing. And 
I also had a lot of inhibition around these things and still do in many ways and many levels. So it is a practice and it is a practice I think that can open us up to so much more joy in our life and so much more truth and honesty uh, and can make the world just a better place when we are allowing ourselves to move, to paint, to dance, to write, to sing, to share, uh, or even to be still. That can be a beautiful <laughs> expression of creativity as well. So if you have any questions, let me know, and I would love to share this powerful healing transformational weekend with you. All right, much love.